Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm Joe with the Model Building Corner. Um, so, I didn't post anything last night, video-wise, but I did. I was doing some work on the uh, Mustang, just practicing some stuff. I did post some pictures. I don't know if I, anybody saw it. A few of you guys did. But, um, so I just wanted to go over real quick and then get some more of that work done. The, um, trying to do flat tires on, on the one side of the car, that was a big fail. Um, on one, I cut the tire and then heated it up and tried to get it to look like a flat tire and it, it doesn't look good. And so the other one, I just went ahead and heated it up and tried to, uh, get it to look like a flat tire and... I mean, if I hit that with some with some flat black, maybe it'll look okay. But you know, I want to try to model it where it's off the bead, and go from there. Um, I did. Um, did you guys see the chassis? I just went ahead and I followed um, what's his name the um, the guy over at HPI guys. Uh, he does a lot of dry brushing, so that's basically what I did. I started with the silver dry brushed and then went over it with just different shades of uh, craft paints and uh, did that, did the motor. Um, I might, and then I hit the motor with a bunch of uh, the uh, Tamaya panel black, but it's still, it's kind of shiny, so. I might, I might hit it, hit the valve covers with some glot, with some dull coat, and hit the engine with it with a shot of dull coat just to bring it down. I don't want it to be like it's been sitting for you know fifty years and it's it's rotted out to the point where it's not repairable. So it's just gonna be light light rust. You know I'm gonna do. Um, I did some dry brushing on the body. I put the decals on it so I can do that over it. Um, made it look like, you know, they're going to, I'm still going to work on it. I'll sand it a little bit, make it look like they, um, you know, faded out over time. I'm going to do some, some rust damage here on the quarter panel. I'm going to do some rust damage on the fender here. But as far as rusted out, you know, in, in, in my scenario, it's, it's a solid car. It'll be able to be restored. So I don't want to go overboard with it. Um, I'm going to sand on this some more. I know that you're supposed to start with the laying the colors under the body color. But since this was already painted, obviously I'm going to do it backwards. But, you know, I'm going to do some more uh, color sanding on the, on what would be hitting the sun. And, uh, you know, I might bring a little bit of rust through, but not a lot. I'll just basically let a lot of primer show through like the sun like the sun's just been fading out that paint real bad. Um what else? So Yeah, I was hitting that with some um with some flat craft paints, dry brushing, you know, and I'll still go through like I said, I'll still sand sand on it. So I'm kinda happy with the way it's coming out. I was actually surprised. Um, I did the dash, but I wasn't happy with the way the dash came out, so I'll show you that. I tried to simulate cr a cracked dash, and I'm going to start over up, you know. I, I did this exactly the way I did the seats, except on the, on the driver's seat to make it look like, you know, torn, uh, the fabric is worn and torn. Um, I just took masking tape. I was going to use um, bare metal foil. And do it thinking that the bare metal foil will be able to burnish real good into those areas. But then again, I seen HPI guy do the do it with masking tape, and I think you know the masking tape went down in there pretty good. I painted a a dirtyish cream color underneath first to simulate like the the foam, and then put the masking tape, um, burnished it in, and then. Um, repainted it with the with the uh interior color and then i just took my exacto knife and scribed some cuts and then just used the tip of the exacto knife to pull them up to make it look like the fabric so on the on the dash pad 
I didn't do the lighter color underneath because I figured on a dashboard when it cracks, it just cracks. You don't really see it lifting too bad or see like a weird color underneath. So, but I'm going to, so I'm going to pull that tape off and redo that. So, all right, well, I'm going to continue on messing up a car. All right, before I do any sanding, I wanted to go ahead and hit the wheels with a dull coat also, try to get that shine down. I'll hit, I'll hit the wheels with a little bit of simulated rust, but I won't go overboard with them. All right. Let's try to use this one. Oh, hey, um, when I hit 500 subscribers, I'm at 430 now. When I hit 500, part of the gift that you guys, that one of you guys are going to receive, you're getting a cat. I'm just kidding. I wouldn't give him away. But he's so annoying. As soon as I sit down here. He starts. One thing I noticed about trying to do clear coat or, or dull coat, the brush kind, on craft paints, it dissolves the craft paint right away. So I can't go too, can't keep brushing it. You have to just either drop it and let it go and Shaking the camera. <sighs> I must have put a lot of coats on this hood because it ain't gone through yet. Some primer starting to show through. Get another piece. I want to try to get that primer to show through closer to the front there where it's got like a like the sun would catch it there and then work its way back. I don't know. I had to break a little bit of the surface with some 320 because it just was not going through. Now if I was trying not to break through, it would have went right through. I am hitting the the uh, the raised areas is coming off pretty quickly. But <clears throat> once I uh, dry brush it after, after everything's said and done... I'll cover that up. I mean, them high points, they take a lot of sun, so why wouldn't they rust? It's just slow. It's slow going and tedious. Obviously, I'm not going to bore you guys with every single minute of me sanding on this. I just wanted to show you where I was at. Um, you know, I got the... Got the hood, pretty much where I like it. I did on the uh, driver's side where the driver's arm would be out. But there's not gonna be a lot of rust um, as far as primer, paint fade, and primer showing on the sides, because that doesn't get a lot of sun, but it is gonna get grime, like, uh, you know, um, moss and stuff like that, so. Okay, well, I may have screwed up. Um, went ahead and got the trunk done a little bit. I'll still be doing some more sanding on that. Um, this is where I may have screwed up uh, trying to get my rust work done. 
Um, I might sand on that just a little bit and then uh, hit it with some uh, rust colors and see what I can come up with. Did the same on the front. Try to make it look like it was roached away and hopefully some with paints it'll uh, make that look a little more realistic. On this side we needed a dent and I really screwed that up. I melted that thing. But... Like I said, with some paints and uh, and some work, I don't know. We'll see how that turns out. All right, so I'm gonna first hit it with some uh, red rust, rojo oxadio, and just try to. Dab it in into those uh, white crevices, and I'm gonna let this dry. On the dent, I might try the same thing, cause once it got crushed, a lot of bare metal got exposed, and I'll clean it up from there. But, I don't know. I'm practicing. I'm experimenting. Alright, that's had a chance to dry a little bit. So, I'll go ahead and hit with another color. Oh, I mentioned in other videos that as I'm waiting for stuff to dry, I'll sit down and actually edit as I go. And I realized that when I was pronouncing the, the red rust... I hope I didn't offend anybody, and that was not my intention when I read uh, Rojo Oxadio. Uh, you know, again, I'm not trying to be funny. I was just reading it, and, you know, I should have just edited it out. I don't know why I didn't. Anyway, these colors really aren't making a difference. But we'll see. Yeah. All right, we'll go from there. Let me see about this side. This little piece of sponge on the... Um on the uh, alligator clip is another thing that I've seen some of you guys doing in videos. So, you know, like I said, I've never done this before. This is a whole new learning experience for me. And, I mean, if it doesn't come out good, then we just chalk it up to, hey, you tried. Go back to building box stock, dummy. <laughs> That's what I've always done. I've never, I've never strayed away from trying to customize stuff or anything like that. The rockers on this car are solid. Whoever restores it, they're going to be happy. Anyway, all right, so I'll let that dry up for a while and go from there. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here for the night. Um, I'll get back on this tomorrow and see what I can see what I can do with it, make it look decent. You know, once all of that's done, then I plan on going ahead and, you know, like I said, making it like a mossy type sides. And then uh, I'll do like a dusting on it and try to blend it all in and see where it goes from there. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get on, uh, finish editing this, get it up to you guys, and then I'm gonna sit on the couch for the rest of the evening and watch you guys. I kind of got myself into a routine. I come home from work, I uh, I shower, I no, I feed the cat, I scrape his uh, litter box, I take a shower, I feed the fish, make dinner, and then I sit here and I work. And then when I'm done, I watch you guys till it's time to go to bed. I get up at like 4:30 in the morning to go to work. So anyway, um, you guys have a good one. I appreciate everybody. I just 
the last time I looked, I was at 430. Now I'm at 460. And I did figure out how to uh, see who all of my subscribers are by doing the desktop um, version as opposed to the mobile. So, uh, you know, when it gets to the point for the 500, um, we'll uh, figure something out how to do this fair and, uh, you know, get you guys some, uh, some rewards. Because I appreciate everybody. Thank you so much. Have a good evening.